Alright, hello Libras. I'm going to do your messages from the universe. Well, they actually call a message from the cosmos. I'm going to do 12 because 12 is representing action, like taking action for something. And the full moon is out. So with the full moon is representing something that's going to come to a completion or something you came to agreement with. And I'm going to do an energy, but I'm going to do lucky number 7. Alright? So I'm going to start on your 12 Libras. I'm trying to get a vibe from you. Some of you are running away from something, but you're doing it. No. no. You're, you're not, it's not, it's not coming about right. Or something's not feeling right. Or something you could have talked about. You know? Let's see. I'm going to get out to 12. For Libra. Let's see if I can push. I have to stop seeing it like I push it out. I have to stop seeing it. Yeah, something you're trying to run from, it's like it's almost scary. <laughs> that shouldn't have been, thank you, like, you get out of here. Okay, I'm going to get your 12 cards out, and I'm going to come back, okay? Alright, Libras, let's see what we got on the table for you. I got your 12 out. These are your um, messages from the universe here, and then I'm going to do your energy, okay? Alright, um... Right, Libra, your first is, yeah. Life can be hard and life can be wonderful. Which will you focus on? Because I feel like you're, you're doing something that you really don't have to do. I don't know if it's dealing with friends, because I know you love friends, but it, it's something you don't have to do. And it's making you feel like you're okay about it at the same time you're wondering about it like what is like what am I what you're getting remember I said I don't know if you guys looked at the other read it was about um when I told you guys you're going to do something it's a lot get yourself prepared for it like get some rest you guys are still just doing stuff your body is working overtime how to think about the next time when you're dealing with a bunch of situations like kids and all kinds of other things and family stuff, okay? They say say goodbye to your past and leave the baggage behind. See, I just told you that. Some of you are about to, your lives are about to change for something different. Besides lollygagging around, I'm not saying all of you are doing that, just it's something serious. And you need to not take this lightly. Now, it's nothing bad, but it's just something different from what you normally do. Something is about to change for you. And I think I told you this before. Because a lot of nonsense that some of you have going on, either with friends or some lovely dad gossip here, you're going to have to leave that behind. Something's about to change. And it's how the way, some of it is how the way you see life, you're not going to see it like you did before. Because of what's going to happen. And you're going to come back and tell me, some of you probably not. This is be authentic. Anything else is just exhausting. That's why I said you're going to be like to yourself. It's something that's bring you back to your real reality. Not what you're trying to show to people or your friends or your family. Or look at this and look at that. It's going to take you to your present. What's going on in the current when you're, the doors are locked. And the lights are out. I'm not trying to scare you, but it's going to take you to your reality. What's really going on with you. Not with everyone else. I'm going here and doing this. No, it's going to take you towards... Because something you're trying to look over and you think it's fun or you think it's cool or you think it's okay and it's all that. And it's this is listen to your body and do what it is asking of you to do. I had to do this thing. Listen to your listen to yourself for once, Libra. Listen to yourself for once. 
And I'm not seeing that selfish way like I'm going to go party. Or not that listen to you. You get influenced sometimes by things or people. And you start you start just leaving something else that's really important. And something's about to bring you back to it and let you know that you have to take care of this. And it's almost like it's actually, it's almost like the universe is making you grow up. Right from for this. It's like you come back to an adult. Stop doing the unnecessary things or the wasting time things or not investing in what you're supposed to invest in. It's going to bring you back there. And it's almost like you're stuck, like you have to do what you're supposed to do. This is not for all of you, okay? Okay? It's not for all of you. You know when it's you. Oh, <laughs> you know when it's you. When you find something that excites you, go all in. I shouldn't give you that car. <laughs> go all in and enjoy the ride. This is what is what they're really telling you is what started this whole happiness with you. It's not what you're doing. It's what was first. What started it. That's what needs to enlighten you. What's, what came first before what you're doing now? I'm not talking about the bad parts. I'm talking about that enlightened you. That made you happy. That's what your focus needs to be on, Libra. Who started this? Who started this beautiful thing? It could be come it could be come back to you. It could be come back to your mate. Something you're taking your attention away. And you notice every time I read you that comes out. All the time. That always comes out. Because I feel like you're doing something and it's okay. And you're just trying to just deal with it. That's going to burn you out. It's going to burn you out. Do what used to really naturally make you happy. Not to all this accumulating stuff. Okay, I'm happy. Okay, oh, well, yeah, it's, bring that to me too. Yeah, it's, not that. This is no one said this whole life thing was a race. It's okay to slow down. I just... Because something, don't, don't worry, the universe is going to make you slow down. <laughs> the universe is going to make you slow down. Later. And it's a reason why you're going to find it. And it's like you're going to feel so empowered with whatever you have to do or whatever you're about to encounter. Because it's like, where are these people now? It's like you're almost saying that, where are these people now? Realization is going to be in your face, and it was there the whole time. And this is look around and find some signs. The universe is speaking to you. You probably feel it, but you don't want to touch bases with it right now, whatever it is. It could be something serious you're about to go into. It could be something that you're finally about to finalize. And you like don't want to touch it right now. You want to get the feel of what your current situation is because you got control of that, including whoever you hang out with or whatever. But whatever's about to happen, I'm not saying you don't have control of it, but you have to work together with something. And it's like together. No more playtime, no more high school stuff. You're actually with this. I was about to say with this thing, you know. Or whatever the case may be. Alright? It said, yeah, look around. You're going to see signs about what you're meant to do. And it's like you don't want to see them right now. I don't want to look at that. I don't, I don't, it's going to, it's going to happen. Things happen in our lives. 
And then it's a period on it sometimes. It's a reason why you need to settle down. Some of you, not all of you. Okay? This is give your inner critique a vacation day. Be kind to yourself. I feel like some of you are feeling uncomfortable because of what... It's almost like you're saying, what am I doing? It's like you're looking around at something. And it's making you feel uncomfortable. What it is, you're doing too much and you're accumulating too much. Just, it's time for the stop. That's enough. That's, it. That's enough of something. This is not for all of you. That's enough of something. That's enough of something. Because I feel like the universe either wants to use you for something or you need to connect with something. And that's what's about to happen. Because what you're doing, no offense, it seems like it's all goofy. Not all of you. It's like you don't have to do that. You need to be doing this. And that's what the universe is going to do. You need to be doing this. You should be doing this. And then everything's going to work. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful when you do this. Trust me. Universe, come on. I know you're not going to say the universe don't know what they're talking about. Oh, yeah. They know. Stop trying to carry the world on your shoulders, Libra. That's what I said. You're doing too much for these people here. What are you getting back? What are you getting back? You probably get a thank you, I appreciate you, but it's going to turn into like you, you are sticking your neck out too much. You have, your backbone is almost going like this. This is not for all of you. That's enough. You need to attend. I'm telling you, the universe is going to take you to where you have to attend to something that you probably were ignoring or running from or something. It's going to take you back to that. You have to understand where you came from and why, what made you happy at first before all of whatever you're doing. It's going to take you back there for a reason. You're going to start seeing more beautified things than things you're forcing in parties. No, you're going to see the more beautiful things about life. That's going to calm you peaceful. This is check in with your body and release any tension you are carrying. If some of you never cried out certain things. Some of you never talked about certain things you want to talk about. And you're just living it out through things. And it's almost scary. Okay, you gotta be careful with that. This is stop reminiscing over what you did or didn't do. Let it go here. It's like you're almost saying, like someone's making you feel like you should have done this or I should have did this. Maybe this would have worked out or maybe it's like you're like scarring yourself. You did the best you could, whatever that is, because that's you and they picked you because they loved you. They cared about you, you know. And you took their flaws and they took the, your flaws. They just don't want to admit it, but that's what people do here. When you like someone, you deal with that such. You deal with that. So don't feel like anything like you did something wrong. And you gotta stop talking to these lollygagging friends in here. <laughs> that's if you have them. Or sisters. This is clear your mental and physical clutter. You will feel so much better. You should talk to your person, I feel like, but I don't know what type of person. It could be a hostile person. Oh, what? What do you want? You know, and now you don't want to say it, but you should say it anyway. And a nice tone. I feel like you want to talk about something. I feel like you want to talk about something, but you want to talk about it to a close friend. You don't feel good. You don't feel right. Because you feel like you're doing something something is not I know you're sick of me seeing something but it's like it's almost time for you to be serious now with someone or something or 
through something, you get completely serious. It's like the universe is telling you it's time to play grown up now. It's almost like it's saying that. I want you to be prepared for that. And the universe wants you to be prepared for it too. I'm going to do your um, your energy, your sevens. It's not nothing wrong. It's just that something you're not paying attention to that you need to pay attention to. Is that what I'm trying to say? Something you're not paying attention to. Life is not. I'm not saying that wrong. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna put my foot in my mouth because sometimes we can talk too much to where we make something that don't make sense. It makes sense, but it won't make sense to you. So. Right, I'm going to do your energy. Leave this here. Your energy, see, I'm getting to feel like you guys don't talk too much to certain people, too. I'm getting the energy about that. It's like you're telling too much because you like the energy of friends and you're talking, you're talking, you're talking, you're talking. That's it. I'm trying to know. What they say inquirers want to know, don't do it. Leave this here. It's a um, 12, oh, it's seven. And see, I just said that. Look, well, I'm gonna tell you who I just told you that. Don't talk too much about your business. I'm telling you, you don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. You don't know who's really not on you, who's not on your side. You don't know who's on your side. They might look like they're on your side, but they're like. You know what I mean? Oh, and I need, I need one more. Yeah, you know what I mean. I need one more. I'm going to do your, your energy. Alright, you got storm warning here. That's why I said don't tell too much your business here because you don't know what influences that you have around you. I'm not going to tell you all this. Oh, well, I'm fine. What's going on with you? That's why I said be careful telling your business. Oh, who was that? <laughs> Stay empty. I don't want to put my gavel down, but stay away from gossip, and especially about yours. Because something can in, get in there in your head about something. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Because something you're probably trying to keep to yourself, but you feel like you trust this person, just be careful with that. I'm glad you're not on social media spilling your beans here. This is the garden and the gate here. I feel like something's going to change your life. No matter what choice you make, no matter what you're going to do tomorrow, something in the universe is going to change your life. And it's for the good because they know that you're a good person. And you could be about a bad influencer. They're probably not a bad person, but they're probably someone that like, I don't care what what. And they're not thinking that you're a powerful, strong person, especially when you want to regroup with your family. When you want to regroup with your family. You want to bring them, you know, normal back. And they know that, if you know what I mean. Just feel comfortable with yourself, you know. Try to feel comfortable with yourself right now. You probably need that right now. But you need to be with someone, especially someone like, a, well, just don't tell your business too much. Or other people's business. Woman holding coin. I have man holding coins, so this woman holding coin, okay? 
this is dealing with money situations. It's like you want to start clearing out debts and doing things like that. Because you feel in your heart something's about to come about for you. And you want to clear the air. I don't know if you, there's some changes that's going to be made. You want the air clear before you do anything, okay? You want to clear the air. And it's almost like you don't know, but you know something's coming about. You just can feel it, and all of a sudden, you just want to start clearing things. With this, you want debts cleared and things like that, and money, you're going to start budgeting. No, I don't want to do that anymore. I want to, but no, because you feel like this is a time for you to do this here. And it's probably because this happened. You know that you want your ending to be peaceful and happiness. That's what you want. You don't want to be looked at as, look what you did. You started this. You did this. You, you don't want to be that person. You don't want to be because you're not that. But if you keep lollygagging with such, telling your business and such advice here, that's what's going to happen. You gotta be careful what you're saying. You gotta be careful what you're saying here. And this is he, happy family. I know it says happy family, there goes happy family. Some of your family, no offense, you guys need to take a downtime, like a dinner, and just have a dinner, and that's it. It's too much going on. It could be one kid and just too much, but it's something that's too much of going on here. Your read is basically about the universe telling you to relax and come back to where you started when you were first happy, like natural, not forcing anything. You don't have to do anything here. You're supposed to do the right thing. Look at the sun card. That's what's going to happen when you do natural happy. What's making you peaceful? What's making you comfortable? You probably weren't like that in a long time. All your happy was forced. And I'll do it. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I had fun. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, I'll go. That's what, that was your happy. No, you were dragging yourself around. You want to do your happy now. And you know what that is in your mind, in your heart, and in your soul. You know what that is. And you want to go back to it. You want to go back to it. You don't like how things turned out. It's a little bit something. It's too much of something. It just got all out of control. Until now, it needs attention, or something's going to need attention. And this is messy man holding coin. I had one holding coin. This is someone you're dealing with that's by your side, probably financially, probably spiritually. They're by your side. And it's like your attention was on other things because you care too much, but your care is right in your face or in your home you lie your head at, where you sleep at, where you eat at, that's, that's where it is here, and who's there by your side, who was there by your side actually, or who's there by your side either, right, and this is storm warning here, this is probably dealing with be careful what you're telling to people about your business, about all of it. Because they can take it and run with it, especially if they're having an episode that you don't know anything about. Because some people, girl, I'm good, or yeah, I'm, I'm okay. No, no, they're not. What's going on with you? You know, as I said that before. You know what I would do? If that was me, you no, know, they're really telling you what to do. Be careful. 
it's a lot of snakes out there and they know you like to you know why they know you like to not turn it up but they know you like to you know get in the girl thing or the, you know the guy thing or whatever you know vice versa this is a garden and again here this is making choices making decisions i feel like you're gonna pick the right one but it's super serious it's like it was meant and destined for you to do this it's like this is where it all ends this is where it all ended. This is one. See, I got man holding coin and woman holding coin. This is you standing up for what you believe. This is standing up actually for your home. I can't do this anymore. This is what I'm doing now. Yeah, I can't do that. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like you're going to go into your adult situation. Because I don't know what it is. It could be you need some me time, some self care. It could be you're gonna going into some kind of position or going into uh, some new life or something extended or uh, child. I don't know. You're about to go into something that you should have, something you should have had you paying attention to before. But it's gonna turn out okay because it was meant to happen. Anything that's meant to happen is okay. And with the money thing right here, this has something. That some of you are getting more funding for something. I don't know. Some money for something. Some new money. I don't know. That's why I said, I don't know if something's changing in your life. And I feel like it's going to come to something about money or funding or money you're going to get. Okay? So, okay? So money plays a part in this too. Okay? You guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys very much. Um, you guys be safe again. I hope you guys come back. Alright? You guys stay safe. Alright? Take care. Bye now.